Okay, my wrestling story started, I don't know the year, but it started a long time ago. There were still dinosaurs. There were still dinosaurs. I'm not that old. Um, no, I started, uh, I was probably, uh, let's see, I was probably your age. How old are you? You're eight? Third year? Second? Okay, third? Yeah, I think that's probably about right. I started, I grew up and down in Maryland. I'm a Maryland guy, uh, right across the line, actually, in Hampstead. Some of you might know that. Um, you know, I've been uh, around this area for a long time now, but I'm a Maryland guy. I'm not a Pennsylvania guy. It's like you tough guys up here, okay? Um, so go easy on me. Um, but I grew up right down there. I wrestled for Manchester Rec Council uh, my entire uh, my entire junior league uh, career, all the way through eighth grade. I won a MDVA state title in 2006. Um, tech fold my way through that state tournament. Boom. It was easy peasy. Um, moved on to high school. I wrestled for North Carroll High School down there, uh, it, which is now Manchester Valley High School. Uh, some of you guys might know, but uh, that is where I went to high school and, and won a couple state titles there as well. So um, moved on to college, went down to the to, to the famous college park, University of Maryland, did a red shirt season there, and then I transferred back to McDaniel College, where I've been ever since. Yeah, I started there in 2011, wrestled three seasons. Uh, fairly successful and then I became a, a, an assistant coach um, pretty hands off. I was doing, um, I was just going to practice most days and, and, and most competitions as a pretty hands off assistant and um, working during the day doing, doing carpentry and construction and stuff like that and then uh, one day my coach was done and uh, we needed someone to take over and um, we decided that that should be me for, for a single season. and. Uh, Next year will mark my fifth season as the head coach, so I never got out of there. I got stuck, and, and here we are. That's all I do these days is coach wrestling, and, uh, you know, it's the best job in the world, right? All I have to do is wrestle. That's all I do is wrestle. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. That would be great, wouldn't it? I don't have to do anything else. I just go to wrestling every day. It's a wonderful, wonderful job, and I'm very lucky to have it, and I love wrestling. Questions at the end? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, what uh, the, the message for today, though, is uh, something we have adopted from Coach Fittery. Coach Fittery is our assistant. Yes, he works under me. I want that documented. Well, not today. Um, <laughs> he, uh, you know, something something we've adopted. Michael, please stand up and turn around. It, is the attacking or slacking? Okay, if you're not attacking, you're slacking. Okay, um, and we like to what we like to do is relate that back to everything, right? That's. That's not just a wrestling term, not just a wrestling thing, okay? We want to blanket that over everything. Um, if, you, if you're not going after something, if you don't have goals that you're continuously trying to move towards, um, you're, you're going to be stuck in the mud, right? You're not going to be doing anything. Now, Now these goals, guys, can be anything that you're going after, okay? It could be simply waking up on time. You look like you slept in a little bit too late tonight. Did you? There's a couple guys rolling in here at 9.03. I know they slept in a little late today, huh? You know what I mean? So maybe they're not achieving those goals, but it can be that minute, but it can also be, what do we do in school? What do we want in school? To be, to, to be, to be smarter. You want to be smarter? Okay, yeah. that's fair. That's, that's a broad, it's broad, but we want good grades, right? We want to get good grades. We want to, because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get good grades. You're supposed to work hard. You're supposed to attack that goal. What can we do to attack that goal? Study more, right? Yeah. Pay attention in class. Yeah. No horseplay. Yeah. No talking when the teacher's talking. These are all things for you. <laughs> um, you know, so so goal setting and attacking your goals, gentlemen, is what you're doing because if you're not attacking, you're slacking. What is it? Slacking. If you're not attacking, you're slacking. Right. Okay, and that's the message for today. And we, uh, you know, we're we're lucky to have a couple of our guys here today that, you know, are going after a lot of specific goals. And if you guys got questions for these guys too, that's, you know, so this is a good time to do it. But uh, we'll go ahead and open it up for questions now and get this going. So yeah, what do you got first? Why did you become an assistant coach? Why did I become an assistant coach? Um, well, I was done wrestling, and um, I had a very good experience at the school I was at and wrestling wasn't something that I was ready to give up at all. Um, I think if I wouldn't have coached there I probably would have went back to, to, to high school or, or junior league and coached 
Um, you know, wrestling is just one of those things that I don't think I'll ever be rid of. Um, I've never not wrestled, so it's one of those things where I don't think that'll ever end for me. <laughs> you know, I think that was the choice. Yep. What made you think, like when you were a kid, what made you think that when you wanted to start wrestling? I couldn't shoot a basketball. Um, <laughs> if you saw me this morning, you know why. Uh, no, uh, my dad, my dad did some wrestling, and yeah, I was not very interested in, um, not very interested in basketball or anything like that. And I was very small. I was very short, very small. Um, yeah, geez, I don't think I, I don't think I broke a hundred pounds until <coughs> high school. Um, I was a pretty small kid, so so other sports were out of the way, and, and uh, I had a little bit of a mean streak back then. Um, yeah, you know, I like beating people up. Right? Don't you? Yeah. Not a good feeling to beat yeah. someone else up? Yes. No, come on, guys. You just no. do it on the wrestling mat. Except for my brother when he beats Except for your brother? Yeah, okay. Uh, you right here. <laughs> Why is it, um, did you want to keep on coaching? Have you ever um, your fourth season of coaching? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think, I think once I coached, I, once I coached one season, I don't think I even wanted to compete anymore. Like. Normally, when you're done wrestling, you're, you you got something left in the tank, and you want to keep competing. I think Coach Fitter still wants to keep competing, um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but I was I was done. I was ready to coach. I was hooked uh, immediately, and then and I think uh, I think that's what helped me in the long run there, actually. So, would you ever like your stuff to be Just win at matches or improve? Uh, so we actually do a lot of um, we do a lot of not focusing on winning. Um, one thing that's that's different in college wrestling, the high school, there's there's so many rule changes. It's a brand new sport, and uh, a lot of the times we focus on. Um, I think we do a good job on focusing on not winning at first. We do a lot of effort. Um, if you're giving us 100% effort when you're out there wrestling. We have something to go off of, and, and we're not too worried about those wins and losses until it, until that end of the year. You know what I mean? When 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 we're starting to qualify for things and stuff like that. So, um, no, actually, I think we do a pretty good job of not focusing on winning all that much. Um, because if you're doing all the right things and you're giving a hundred percent effort, the chances of you winning are a little more likely. So you don't have to worry about the result. Worry about how you get there, right? All right, go ahead. What do we got? What, what made you start doing wrestling? What made me start doing wrestling? The same question like that guy? No. Um, um, you don't have anything? I didn't think so. Go ahead. Which one do you like more, coaching or the matches? Practice or matches? Yeah. Mm. That's pretty tough. I would say, uh, I don't know. I like practice a lot because we get to play games. I like playing games. Yeah, um, and, and I like, we, I get to coach a lot more in practice too. Um, when we're, we're more at matches, there's, there's not too much I can say when you're out there, you know what I mean? So I think I, I, think I like practice more. That's a good question. Oh. I've never gotten that one before. <laughs> That's a good question. Okay. What's the biggest thing you look in like a high school wrestler that's trying to get to college? Um, I, the biggest thing that I look for um, is honestly, if I call a coach or I call a parent and what they're saying about that kid, um, and then if, I, if I'm somewhere watching them, I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily focused on what they're doing in the wrestling match, because I can worry about the wrestling later, but it's what they're doing after, um, what they're doing before to prepare, how, how, what they're doing to prepare, how they're preparing, um, how they interact with their teammates, um, how their coaches interact with them, uh, shows me a lot of things. So, uh, for example, if, if if I got a guy who's, um, you know, I notice not a lot of teammates are talking to him. His coach doesn't come up to him before a match, and then his coach also, he, even if he wins, and his coach doesn't go to him after. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm you're focusing on all of those things, and then also when the match is all said and done, parents come down right, and, and it's a kind of a big huddle there at the end, and with how they're interacting with their parents too is you know, big for me. Um, those relationships you have to have first. So with your teammates, your coaches, and your parents. And that's that's pretty much what I'm looking for. I can fix your wrestling. I like I like wrestling. I know how to wrestle, right? Um, that's what we all do, right? We know how, we know how to coach wrestling. 
um, will get you better in that aspect. But those other things are hard to teach. So kids who already have those relationships and those things is, is, is a lot better, a lot easier to work with. So. My favorite wrestler, JB, Jordan Burroughs, done and done, the king. <laughs> now you got one. This is the last question. How, how much do you like being a coach, and how much did you like wrestling? Um, I got to tell you, I like being a coach way more consistently than I like being a wrestler. There was times when I was a wrestler where I didn't really like wrestling. Don't cut weight. That's, yeah, yeah, I see it. You're not. You're doing good. <laughs> yeah, no, there's times when you're wrestling, man, that it's just so tough, so tough, so tough, and there's a lot of ups and downs and, and, and the weight cuts and the struggle. Um, you don't always like it, but you do it anyway, right? Because that's what you're supposed to do. Um, I think there's a lot less extremes of lows when you're coaching, if that makes sense. Um, I think I like coaching in that aspect a little bit more, so. All right. Cool.